You can just put the clip up, but it's happened again. It's happened again. You know the rest, because... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Celtic are out the Champions League qualifiers once again. Back the manager, sat the board. This is all on the board. I talk a wee bit more. I'll talk lots more into detail after the intro. Right, guys. After a video. Uh, after that intro, sorry, utterly, utterly embarrassing. We shouldn't have got ourselves into this situation. This is a steal for tonight's game. Michelin, fair play to them. They worked their socks off to get to extra time, got the goal. Defensively, we were absolutely shocking all night. Cal McGregor's goal, we, we, that, that goal deserved to take us through. That goal. We were leading, you know, James Forrest had a bloody, open bloody goal to make it 2-0 uh, on aggregate. Um, two 0 in the night, three one on aggregate. It could have been a lot easier. They got the part and score. We don't take our chances. It's an absolute ridiculous. How the earth Ange Postecoglou has seen? But it's not Ange Postecoglou's fault that we're out of the Champions League again. It's a bloody board fault. When in a situation, you got players that don't want to be here. Adson Edward. I don't know how he's on that part tonight because he looked at at all. He he could not care less. The chances about 2018-19 or 2017-2017-18. Uh, Edward would have put by any day of the week. The chances, some of the chances he had tonight. I mean, I yet to come on, but what's he going to do in bloody you know 15 or you know whatever minutes, half an hour? Do you know what I mean? Um, but it's a harsh reality that Celtic are out of the Champions League qualifiers again. Um, that Ralston as well, he's, he's simply not good enough, and it's not just Ralston, it's bloody the whole bloody team, Bain, I, I mean, I couldn't care less that Bain was bloody and goal night for Barkas, it's not going to make a bloody difference in it, didn't he? Bain couldn't save a bloody shot if it, he had bloody glue on his gloves, he, I don't, I don't know, I, I really don't know, I, I was impressed with Chris in the first half really, um, but Michelin looked the very, the, the better side the first half, um, but at half time, um, it was safe to see it was a pretty boring half display from both teams. It was really bad. So we were playing very dangerously out from the back to being very passive in midfield. Uh, we need to more, I said, I said at half time, we need to be more aggressive, quicker and direct in the second half. In reality, the Danish side are very poor outfit. We just need to happen. We we're just poor as well. Absolute shocking. And I, I generally think that lineup tonight was might be the worst goalkeeper in the battle league combination we've ever fielded in a Euro qualifier. And now we're in the bloody Euro Euro Europa League qualifier round three against a bloody I don't know who. I really don't know and I really don't care anymore because this is out of order from the board. And the Green Brigade put it right at the banner. Back the manager, sack the board. It's absolutely ridiculous. You get to this point again in the season. A Champions League was a steal. Alright, see if you got past Michelin, you're guaranteed European. Sorry about that, camera cut out again. But anyway, we got in the second half, Cal McGregor's goal, my god, what a goal. And it deserved to put us through. Cal McGregor is probably the best player on earth at that point. I was absolutely over the moon. But the more I watched that goal going through the game, because it was absolutely appalling the second going into the second half more, uh, the more amazed I am, probably that's the goal of the season already. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But Scott Beam. My Christ, we can see that goal where the chance to go up 2-0 in the night. My Christ, is literally the worst keeper ever. I will not hear any about it at Barkas again. Deary, deary me, my Christ. Um, it was a tense finish today because it was absolutely the same old story how Bain couldn't get that where, you know, where, where's the new keeper at? Because Christ, we need a new keeper and it was bloody 61st minute, we conceded the first goal. But uh, odds on Edward's been abysmal the whole bloody game. We were so lucky to get a bloody 90 minutes. Going an extra time. We were so lucky. Extra time paid us. An absolute oh my Christ. Um I thought I was gonna to go to penalties, but Edward wasn't even doing the basics. But I, I, I like Edward, he was to bits, but my god, you wouldn't pay eighteen pence for him tonight. I'm not even kidding you, wouldn't he? I couldn't believe it. Edward just looks so bored and he just doesn't look to care anymore, as I said. Uh, he's ready to leave and you can see he's too lazy up front, he isn't bringing it and take him off. And he, they didn't, because you don't have any options because of the stupid... The, the board are not giving the backing of the manager. He should have been gave... The manager should have been, should have been, you know, announced ages ago, back in May when the season finished. 
and then you would a lot a decent mere time to get a bloody team together for these qualifiers. Mm-hmm. Work out in ten days or a hundred days and so like that until the Champions League qualifiers. Come to the day, you know, look last Tuesday, we should have won the game. Goalkeeping mistake. This week, Wednesday night, absolutely goalkeeping mistake, defensive mistakes, the whole team rank rotten. I uh Dane Murray, you can't fault the bloody backline, you can't fault Dane Murray because you know, he's only 18 and he's been put in there. He's been rushed in there. What can he do? And when you look at the bench, you know, Mitchell and the throwing players on because they have depth. They have depth players and they can rely on them. Unlike Celtic, who have nothing. Absolute nothing. Absolute bloody nothing on the bench. And I've got to say, why are people surprised anymore? I really feel for the manager, it's, it's, uh, it's crap putting him in this situation now. No time to do anything. Uh, no time to do anything and usually the board are slow or late with buying players. Celtic FC don't like spending money. Absolutely embarrassed. The board need to spend or we getting hammered in the league. And honestly, I, I've got to do my Premier League, my SPFL league predictions again. I've got, I've got to do it sometime because absolutely pathetic Celtic. We're lucky if we've managed to play but third this season. And that's bloody pushing it. Oh my Christ. I'm not surprised but it's absolutely pathetic. We, sh- we should have won the tie comfortably. But here we are. It was some laugh in it. It was absolutely some life, some laugh in it. Absolutely. So 2014 Maribor, 2015 Malmo, 2018 AK Athens, um, 2019 CF, CRF Cluj, 2020 Fens Varos, 2021 Michelin. What a roll! What a roll call! Eh? This is on the board tonight again. Anyone criticised Ange is out their head, out their mind, absolutely out their mind, because. So Celtic, uh, I've just found this out now, Celtic will now drop into the third qualifying round of the Europa League where they'll find, they'll face Shekside Yablonek. We've come to this, we've come to this bloody, I can't say it against this bloody side because we'll probably get beat off him, do you know what I mean? We never applied in this extra tight, or maybe the whole team maybe, but we never applied a single bit of pressure since conceding the equaliser, never mind the winner. Act like a football club Celtic, because we're a, uh, I don't even care if Bain made a save tonight because my Christ was even up. He should have made it. My oh, but well, here we are. Here we are. I, I'm lucky. I'm glad I'm going away on a bloody holiday because my Christ, Celtic. I can't deal with you. I honestly like can't because it's a joke. I thought last season was a bloody enough, but no. He can't. He can't say it about Ange Boss Cog. He's been bloody thrown by the board, and the board's just like. Yep, they've just let us happen. And Celtic have just fallen like a bloody pack of cards. Well, fair play to Celtic. You've done it the way you haven't. You have. Well done. Well done. Thanks guys for watching. Please subscribe and like. Um, that's my analysis on the game, my opinion as well. What's your opinion down below, guys? Comment down below. I don't think it'll be anything bizarre for me, you know, out of the world. But, <sighs> pathetic.